Hi folks, this short video is going to show you fairly quickly how to calculate bad debt expense in any receivables aging question. Okay, so in front of you here is a typical receivables chart, and in here, the key number that we want to zone in on is this $10,030. That's what we want to get out of this and carry it forward. However, note folks, that if that is not the bad debt expense number. That's not the number you would put in the journal. Instead, what that number represents actually is the ending balance in our allowance for doubtful accounts. Keep that in mind. So what we have to calculate from here is what is the amount we need to put in as an entry in order to make the ending balance equal $10,030. And in this case, that would be a credit entry of $3,030. It's almost always a credit entry unless it's some type of correcting entry or something like that. So we've got a $3,030 credit entry. For every credit entry, we need a debit entry. Remember, debits always have to equal credits. And in this case, that debit would go to bad debt expense. And that answers your question. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep working hard at this. It is the language of business.